Yeah, I know that nigga Rod Wave ain't pull up on me. <laughs> Cap. No, I don't own the song fully. I own the percentage of it. I still have publishing in it and writer's credits. So I guess when he found out that, he don't, he don't want to give me nothing. We going to court. Nobody contacted me. Nobody gave me my publishing. Nobody gave me my writer's credit. So how you cleared it when you ain't cleared with me? Now the CEO, they calling me. Who said we going to put you in the publishing? We going to put you in the writer's credit. Too late. It's too late now. He could have pulled up on me and got me out the business. I'll get mine regardless, man. I mean, when everybody get their, you know, paperwork or whatever, I me mean, my writer credits, I still own the publishing for my publishing. They didn't give me none of that, so. Now they saying, we gonna give you your publishing? It's too late, bro. Like, song already out, it's too late. Bro. Nah, it's just one song, I mean, it's probably four or five songs that I could fuck with, but it's just one song, bro. It's because a nigga take a line or two. I ain't, I ain't really tripping on that, bro. When you take the whole, the whole everything, bro. I gotta get compensated, bro. Yeah. And the song name also. You take the song and the song name, that's trademark and friend. Those are straight, the same song. Everything. I gotta get compensated for that. Record labels and artists, they get, they get paid for that year round. They get paid for that year round. You ain't gonna make no song called Thriller, Thriller Night. <laughs> and not pay Michael Jackson. And just people do it to me because I'm a street right now. But I'm a business man. You know how much cash money records get paid for people sampling their music a year? You know how much No Limit get paid? It ain't my fault. Nigga, they had to pay Pastor Pete. That ain't my fault we did.